Hey world, this is Michael Gregory. We are about to spend a whole day with this guy. So these are your amps for the day. I wanted to do 10 amps today, but we just have nine. So this is the PV5150 combo unit. We were talking about this off camera, but it's got a couple Sheffield speakers in it, so it's a 212 combo. I was about ready to tell Michael that I've tried using this with other cabinets and it does not sound good with any other speakers except for those Sheffields. It's just voice for this. Yeah, there's something about it and the, the way it is. Um, so we're going to let him, let Michael take it from here. And... Well, there's two inputs. There's a high gain and a low gain. So we're going to start on the low. Okay. Not to be confused with row gain. Yes. High gain, low gain, row gain. Okay, so in, in this clean channel, the bright and the crunch were activated. So I disengage those, a little more, gotcha. more balanced. on about <laughs> five and a half the rhythm post on three and a half and there's six <laughs> Kind of what I was expecting, really. Yeah. Out of this, so let's go down with that, and I'm gonna flatten the EQ. Out. Oh wait, while we're here, reverb. Oh, yeah. Not the it's nice. It's not that splatty, boinky, springy kind of sound. The thing I've noticed about this reverb is it's it's kind of out of the way. Yeah, and it's like a real short throw, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's almost as if Eddie designed it. Make sure you don't overuse, you don't abuse reverb. Right. <laughs> instead, of, instead of putting a warning sticker on it, he decided just to... Okay, there's a resonance. Kind of a filter. So I like that much better. It's buttery on the bottom. Just 
So now we will go to the Deadly Lead channel. Deadly Lead. And that's actually a master volume amp too. But it, it actually only really sounds good loud. <laughs> Tried to play that solo in about 25 years. <laughs> Pulling the highs down to get less of that sizzle. Oh, that sounds better, yeah. On top, yeah. <laughs> It sounds a little bit like the first record tones, but then it sounds like, you know, his his later stuff. So do, do do you see this as having any applications other than Van Halen songs? Well, sure. I mean, <laughs> it's basic voice is that because of what it is. Exactly. That's what yeah. I'm for. Yeah. <laughs> it's true to a certain extent because you get on there and you just start playing Van Halen songs because you want to. Right. You know. Well, I mean, you. <laughs> the farting around you've been doing so far on it what amp do you think this resembles the most that's not a 5150 marshall a marshall because that's was that's his, where it originated his sound for the first several records i probably up to like yeah uh, 1984 i think when he got into van hagar was when he started yeah doing this and uh getting really more specific yeah things like trying to get the sound he wanted that he was using a variac to get out of the Marshall. Yeah, he was lowering the the power from the wall into the amp. Exactly. And and starving it. You go through tubes, but if you're Eddie Van Halen, you can afford to. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, the way this... He's up pretty nice. Yeah, I, I, I was... I've always been really impressed with the clean channel on here. I mean, it sounds like an old um, CBS era twin reverb on steroids. It's moving air. That's great. so much drive that was the thing with his sound you know with uh yeah. that's how you really had to have that 
the amp driving. Yeah, a lot. Of where, where I really hear if there's a sweet spot on the guitar neck, like around the third fret on the A string, the B string there's something cool going Just on. Just enough there, body yeah. and enough bite. Yeah, there's something really cool going on. Even when you're like doing leads and all of a sudden it hits that little area, it's like, wow, that feels really good. That's when it's talking. Sounds like Eddie Van Halen playing the Dixie Dregs. It does, yeah. <laughs> now, with the low all the way up, that almost sounds like a 412. Yeah. You hit that chunk. Try those PAFs. Okay, now we're on the telly with humbuckers. my volume way down. Thank you. 
sacrilegious to play jazz through <laughs> yeah and i that's kind of the reason i was asking you if you saw any other usefulness out of it i was kind of half joking with the van halen thing but really like um, it's voice for rock because yeah. even at the low clean channel settings is yeah, it's still, still kind of barky yeah Yeah. It's, it's not as pretty. Yeah. Especially with that harmony. We did a harmony amp earlier, and uh, that H400 was just, that was just gorgeous. This gets the job done. Yeah. You know. Yeah. me want to drive a truck. <laughs> More cluck for your buck. <laughs> Chicken food. Yeah. Gain is a, it's still a little bit. Of, still some breakup, yeah. Wow. So what's what's your favorite sound on here? I mean, kind of the the Eddie heavy rock thing. Yeah, that's that, that's the response I was expecting. That's to get. the bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it does. It's a shred machine. 